In this last problem for Unit 5, we want you to implement the control algorithm that you saw in sections 14 and 15 of Unit 5 for the hydraulic braking system. We set up a number of important values for you, as always, including two things called low slip and high slip. These are both possible values for the wheel slip, and if the wheel slip gets smaller than low slip, we want you to decrease the pressure of the brakes. Similarly, if the wheel slip gets higher than high slip, we want you to increase the pressure. Increasing and decreasing the pressure like this leads to a rate of change called hydraulic speed in the strength B of the brake. Hydraulic speed is shown right here. Now B, the braking strength, which you can see right here, is measured as the deceleration of the velocity of the rim of the wheel if there was no friction from the road. As would be logical, the strength of the brake cannot be a negative number, and we've set a maximum value that it can take on with this constant called max brake right here. We've given you most of the contents of the for loop inside this function, but there are a couple of lines left that we want you to write. We want you to model how the brake pressure changes between these maximum and minimum values that we outlined above, and using this, how the brake acceleration changes step by step. This might require a little bit of creativity, so if you need some hints, come to the forums.